So let's say you've got an iPhone and you're all happy with it, uh, but then uh, all of your friends now have the new Kindle 2 device from Amazon.com and you're thinking, wow, I want to be cool like them. Well, now you can because the uh, Amazon people have a, a free app that will allow you to, to turn your iPhone into uh, a Kindle device and basically it connects to the Kindle store and will allow you to uh, read some books here uh, just by, and it's, and it's again, just like uh, a Kindle device and you can, you can swap your pages left and right. Uh, it'll zoom in, and you've, your iPhone is now a uh, Kindle device. Uh, in fact, I think this is a lot better. The, the brightness of the screen and the uh, contrast of the text is a lot better than on the Kindle device itself. Uh, and of course, uh, if you want to, if you have better eyesight, you can change the font size and go down. Uh, again, the size makes it look like, it's a, uh, like you're reading a, uh, a paperback book. And of course, because it's the iPhone, you can go back and forth. And of course, since my eyes are going bad, I can go and increase the type size as well if I wanted to. So again, it's really easy. And of course, it works on the WhisperSync technology. So if you close out the app or if you uh, do have a Kindle 2 device or a, an original Kindle, if you open up your book on that one, it'll uh, be right back at the spot that you were reading before. Uh, again, this is a free app for the Amazon.com. And uh, the only downside of this is that you have to go to the Amazon website in order to download and pay for the books uh, you can't do this from the phone. Uh, now Amazon says that you can do it through the Safari browser on the iPhone, but I found that it's a lot easier just to go uh, when you have a computer connection, go to the website, get your, uh, your books, and then uh, just uh, access them here later on. So again, that's the Amazon Kindle app with WhisperSync, and it's a free app. Go get one now.